Hi everyone, my name is Esther. I am from the blog victorianlanefarms.com. I am so excited you're here. Today, I'm going to take you on a Christmas home tour. So, stay tuned. I love this time of year, especially cozying up to a fireplace. I want to show you what's up here on my mantle. I have a Merry Christmas sign. And on top, I put a real wreath with some really dark red ribbon that I tied in a bow. I found some red berries from Michael's and I stuck those inside this garland. I recently went to an antique store and I found this teddy bear. Isn't he cute? To this garland, I added these little bells. I took some twine and I tied a knot and tied them on there. And I think it just adds a nice little touch to this fireplace. I put a oh so jolly pillow here that I found in Texas. I am loving this skirted pillow. It's fuzzy and soft. This is probably one of my favorite Christmas prints. It's Santa Claus with a little girl telling him her Christmas wish. I think that is so sweet. I put it inside this old frame that I found at Goodwill. I love how vintage it looks. And on top of this desk, I put this cute little guy. This is actually real mink fur. And here is the Santa Claus that I got at an antique store recently. And I stuck a tree inside. On the floor here, I have a red and green rug I found at a secondhand store. And I just love the red and green color for Christmas. It just seemed perfect to put there. And there is a nutcracker. Isn't he cute? I love using this teapot. It's red, perfect color for Christmas. And then here is a little corner. I found this frame at Goodwill. I am going to do a makeover of that eventually, but I put a wreath on top of that with a huge red ornament. And then I took a red transferware pitcher and I put a Christmas tree inside and then just stuck a Santa Claus figure on this table. I found this red and green and tan blanket from the same thrift store that I bought the rug. It's so cozy. And this is a antique settee that I painted gray. I love this. I found this pillow at Etsy. I love the ruffle on the side there. And then a red and white pillow with some pom-poms. I love how this one turned out. I've never really shown you this corner over here we have a huge cat tree in the background and our cats love it so much. I have this three tier tray that I just stuck a whole bunch of Christmas things in there. I like 
to use Christmas balls. And then I have these really cute Christmas figurines. And of course, isn't he cute? I hung him on my Falls Graph teapot. On my counter, I put a Christmas tree inside of this Falls Graph soup tureen. And then here is a little nativity scene. It's white porcelain and has a light. I love that. I place some lace here just for some texture. And these are one of my favorite candlesticks. They were the very first things I bought when we moved into this house. I mean, check out the details. I just have to show you up close. If you love decor, this is pretty neat. And here is my kitchen. We did a few things for Christmas here. Behind my sink, I have that jingle plaque and then this cute little girl. I love her vintage look. And then some Christmas trees. I am loving this little setup on the side of my sink. I found this wood block at Magnolia Market in Texas. And I got this idea from Monica Rose to put some dishes inside of a bowl and that has been so neat. I love this Mrs. Myers collection. The Iowa pine smells so good. So now I am going to take you over here in our kitchen. We have some Santa Claus mugs here that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just love that they're white and really simple and huge to make some amazing hot cocoa. Here is the other side of the three tier tray. I stuck some Christmas balls. I like to have these facing up and I have a snowman mug here and a Christmas teddy bear holding a Merry Christmas little sign. And then here at the bottom, this is a countdown to Christmas. I love that. Here is our breakfast nook area. I really kept it really simple for Christmas. I put a white Christmas sign up there. And some Christmas trees on the top shelf. I have this beautiful chandelier. I love, no matter where I put it, it adds a little bling. And I simply put some candlesticks here with that candelabra. I kept the blue plate and white platter on the back of the white Christmas sign just for adding some color. I found these white chairs that have a wicker top and I put the other one here. I put a jute rug on the floor and I now we are in our guest bathroom. I am loving this cute little print of the little girl reading a book to her dolls. There's green and red in the picture. I have this Christmas tree towel that I got from Pottery Barn. And then these cranberry red towels from Amazon with a lace towel on top. And over here, I put a cute little white and green striped stocking and I put a little teddy bear in there. These are the ones I pull out for Christmas. I just think it's so cute. And then over here, I have a huge bouquet 
of evergreen branches and eucalyptus, some pine cones, and I stuck some fairy lights in there. And here is some peppermint scented hand soap. It smells so good. I love how this little guest bathroom turned out. I think it's so cute. And then I just want to give you a quick little tour outside on my porch. I added this red and white pillow and this white pickup truck here and a Christmas tree. That plant is still going strong. I just added some Christmas pillows. Here is a Santa Claus one. And this is Merry Christmas. And then a black and white checkered one there. I have a lantern on top of the wicker table. Can you see? It's snowing here in our neighborhood. I hung a live garland there and wreath with a red bow. We are moving into my living room. This is one of my favorite rooms. I think it's because of this beautiful antique sofa. My husband wanted a simple Christmas this year. So I did something different and I turned this gallery wall into something that can change into other seasons. I found this cottage print of a house that has the dark green like the antique sofa and I love that. I made a bouquet with some white berries and I put it inside of a white pitcher and then I stuck some old blue and green books and I put the old church there. I love that little church. I put a jingle pillow here on this chair. I still need to paint this chair green and I plan on doing that after the holidays. On this armor I stuck some real wreaths and I hung them with some blue velvet ribbon onto the doors. And then I stuck the dollhouse up top here just because it looked really amazing and in a minute I'll show you what I put in its place. Here is my antique wardrobe. On top I stuck a picture with a Christmas tree stuck inside and then Christmas tree with burlap and then a falls graph bowl with the lid on top. I've had this for a few years it actually gave me an idea for a color scheme in this room with the black and white checkers. But I love the skates on here, isn't that cute? And here is my favorite piece of furniture in my house. It is this antique sofa. It is my favorite color. I saw this idea on Down Abbey of putting a pillow on the back that is similar to the color of the sofa. And so I put two dark green oblong pillows there. And then I found this blue and green pillow. It has a farmhouse look. This is a great combination of the Victorian farmhouse. placed a blue ticking tree skirt underneath a wicker basket and then on top I put a white star. This Christmas tree has been a lot of fun to put together. 
along with the black and white checker over there I added black and white checker ribbon on here I put some gray velvet ribbons that I tied on here I collected these a few years ago they are porcelain doves they are so pretty and my daughter she did ballet when she was younger and so I have quite a few ballerinas and then this huge gear drop ornament is so pretty when I was in Texas I went to a store and I found three of these green velvet huge ornaments and I brought those home in the corner of the dining room is a flocked Christmas tree I put some sugar cookie ornaments on here this year I will be sharing a tutorial how to make sugar cookie ornaments on this tree I put some white doves and here's another one there Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone gave an idea of putting ticking fabric between a embroidery hoop I really like that idea I have some blue magnolia ornaments of the different places at Magnolia Market this one is the magnolia table I put some pom-pom garland on there and here is another ballerina on this tree I did something different this year for Christmas I decided to decorate our crystal chandelier I'm going to show you how to decorate a crystal chandelier the branches I'm going to be adding are these I got one for every crystal arm and I'm going to take this and I'm going to separate it and put it on there I'll show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how I'm tying the bow on the chandelier arm it is this really beautiful icy blue velvet in a one half inch I got this at Joanne fabrics it is so beautiful I'm going to show you how I tie a bow so to avoid this I'm going to show you how I put it on really easy I'm separating this part bring it over and I'm pulling this part up and then I'm putting it on and then I'm pulling it down and now I'm going to add the ribbon so when you are putting the ribbon up you want the right one to be higher than the left one and I will show you why in just a little bit so now you want to take the long piece that is on the left side go over because when you're at the top you want this to be in a loop at the top so make sure you pull as tight as you can you always want the velvet out then you take this bow and you take the side that doesn't have velvet and you loop that around the bow and then you twist it like this then you want the velvet part to go through making sure it's flat and then you pull the back of the bow really tight and if the crystals fall off like mine did <laughs> that's okay they just actually loop right back on and you want this part to be flat and then you take this with the velvet showing and you loop it through that bow so that it goes down like that. Now it's uneven and you're gonna fix that. 
And so now you're going to fold this part and you're going to pull the bow to be smaller. And that's probably about how I want it. You take your fingers and you puff it out. really that easy. On top of my antique dresser, I placed a vintage Christmas wreath on the wall. It is a DIY that I did recently using flow blue transfer plates and blue and ticking ribbon made into a bow. I also put a stack of books with some teacups and a Christmas tree inside the teacup. And then a blue transferware teapot. And then I have this cute little reindeer that I found at Value Village. That's really neat. And then these milk glass candle holders. I'm really loving this corner in my dining room. It is so beautiful. And over here I have this fireplace mantle. I wrote Merry Christmas on there. I hung a garland that I got from Joanne Fabrics across the front of the fireplace mantle. And then I have these green glass candlestick topper. Here is a white platter that I put inside of this ornate bronze plate holder. And here is another candlestick with the glass candle topper. The centerpiece is simply evergreen branches with some billowy leaves in the back and a couple hydrangeas and a snowflake ornament I tucked inside with some green berries. I love adding spring flowers to evergreen. I just think it has a unique look. These are the dishes I will be using for Christmas dinner. I am wishing you guys an amazing Christmas coming up in a few days. Thank you for coming on by. Merry Christmas everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe right down below.